Put away the fries. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Hot. Oh, oh yeah, that brings back memories. You know where you are now? Mm -hmm. Let's dig in. Bure for it. Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of the vlog because today, Jason and I are in front of a Swiss Chalet, which is a large Canadian chicken chain restaurant. Fresh charcoal broil. Some chicken. Never had it so good. That you've actually been to before. 20 years ago. Why? They used to be in Buffalo. Is there any other American locations anymore? They got rid of them. So that's why we're here. You're going to taste Swiss LA for the first time in 20 years and tell other fellow Americans who don't know this chain what it's all about. What do you remember? I remember vividly slippery floors. <laughs> <laughs> Not the chicken, no. No, I was younger. It wasn't about yeah. the food, it was about the atmosphere. I think I think the floors are still slippery. I have no idea why. It's like, is it the sauce or the, with the, the rotisserie chicken in, in the air? I don't know but it, it might still be slipper. We'll test it out. The best part of us with chalet, yeah. coupons. Look at that. Two can nine for $17.99. Two quarter chicken dinners. Ooh, and a pierogies and an apple pie. Also, we have another contest for you. Here's how you're gonna win. Like the video. Hey, where are you going? I'm hungry. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with the answer to this question. So the question that I have is, what is this weird thing that Joseph does with his bread? He won't tell me. You're gonna find out, and once you do, comment down below, and the people of the same answers will pick a winner from a random draw. Are you ready for some fantastic Canadian chicken? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, the floors aren't slippery. That's weird. It kind of destroys it for me. Yeah. How do you feel? Yeah. Excited. Hungry. You're excited? Yeah. Hungry. Yeah, this is it. Slow roasted rotisserie chicken. That's the money. The white meat dinner. White meat yeah. dinner. Old fashioned Sh the Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple here is like a staple of Swiss LA. Do you know that? No. Oh, and look at this. Paper straws. There you go. Cheers. Cheers. That is so nostalgic. You should have told me I would have. Have a sip night out with my family, yeah. my parents and my brother. This would be the treat we'd get. This is it, we want to try the best chicken. The only chicken chain <laughs> restaurant in Canada. They don't have many chicken chains. No. They're like Chick-fil-A and uh, but there's no like sit down like restaurant. We have one, you've heard of Boston Market. I've never heard of it actually before you told me about it. So it's not a sit down, but they have chicken dinner. So you can pick all of these types of foods, but it's a fast more food. to go. We're gonna, no. we're gonna, we're actually gonna use this coupon. And do you want the pierogies as your appetizer? Yes, please. And white or dark meat? I'll do white meat. Same, please. And a couple extra chalet sauces. No problem. Read through it and you see anything that's like, oh man, those wings look like they could use some work. Because I've been in Buffalo for a while now, working there, I don't live there, but I can't get wings anywhere else. It doesn't make sense because I'm in Buffalo so often. That's another episode, 100%. Finding the best wings in Buffalo because everyone has their own. To me, it's, it's probably got to be the same as Montreal, where you go anywhere in Montreal, you're going to get good poutine. It's true. Right? And you go anywhere in Buffalo, you're going to get good wings. I forgot to tell you what you'll win if you win this contest. We will send you several packages of the Swiss LA sauce. You can get them in stores here in Canada. Is it just the sauce or is it like a no, seasoning? No, no. Yeah, it's like a mixture. It's a powder. You can mix it with water, which I'm sure it's the same mixture they use here. Mm. I don't know why it would be different, but yeah, you can make it at home and it's fantastic. 80% of the reason people come here, I think, is because of this chalet sauce. I mean, I'm sure that we're going to hear today that people hate the chalet and yeah. hate the sauce. And like, I'm sure that's why. It's not where you get good chicken in there. Yeah, I'm the sure. The sauce is right. terrible. Thank you so much. Thanks. You're welcome. So, in relation to the Christmas vacation, I imagine that when I cut into this, the whole thing will just be like super dry. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Yeah. This dip will cool it off. Oh no, there's some good stuff in there. Oh, yeah. The outside kind of tastes like pretzel. When you try with this, I don't even know what that sauce is. You know, like, really? It's very bland, yeah. but I like it. Have in, any, in a weird way. There's very little flavor. There is a little flavor. I almost like it better without the stuff. What's the verdict? Is that an X? That's not a good pro. Okay. Order away the fries. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Oh. Hot. Hot. Oh yeah, that brings back memories. You know where you are now? Mm -hmm. Let's dig in. Bure for it. You had to be Brian there. Mm -hmm. Fries are so good. I don't know what it is about this. 
tasted bear. You want to get a piece of bear? Mm. It's good. Oh yeah. So what are you gonna do? I gotta know. Here it is. Get some butter. You just butter your bread. Yeah, that's all this is. What wild and crazy thing is Joseph gonna do next? He's gonna butter his bread like a Canadian. Just butter. There's gotta be another step. That's it. So what's the answer? <laughs> you don't know. You ain't gonna win this contest. Also, I must say these buns have greatly improved since like last month. I've been working out. We're done. It's a little different than I remember. Some of the flavor, but it's really good. I really like the dipping sauce because it's so unique. I don't think there's anything else around that I can compare it to. Yeah, a unique mixture. I don't know what they put in the powder, but it's unique to Twitch LA. Do they do uh, refills in uh, Canada? Yeah, and then they apologize when they bring it to you. It took so long. We'll get it together. Figure it out. Can I grab you another diet Pepsi? Yes, please. I'd say definitely check on the fries. It's a big for the fries. Oh, okay. You know, it's recommended to drink six glasses of chalet sauce in Canada. This is my nonna's, my grandmother's favorite place to go when it's her birthday or it's Mother's Day. Oh, really? Loves the chalet. Mm -hmm. I think it's very popular with the, uh, the older generation of Italians. I would feel like it would be a sin for an Italian to go to a restaurant. It is, but that's why this is, it only happens on two days where... Special the, days where they don't want to cook. Exactly. For themselves. I go for it. No, I was trying to match you in our last video, <laughs> chugging the Caesar mix. Looking forward to the apple pie. I would say the chicken is definitely a check. check. And the dipping sauce, check. Bread? It's good bread. I finished my first um, cylinder. That's why we asked for extra. I'm almost done my chicken as well. Can't talk eating. Mm -hmm. This is the part where it's like, how far do I keep going? Do I just try to clean it or am I becoming barbaric? I think you're barbaric if you don't clean it. That's what I think. How many of you go to Swiss LA if you're in Canada? Have you been? Do you avoid it at all costs or do you go monthly, weekly? When's the last time you were there? Should Americans try it? I think so. Although, in order to try it, you gotta come to Canada. You come to Canada, you probably have other things on here to do. I'm really disappointed in the floors here. That they're too clean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> First time. <laughs> Anyone's been ha unhappy with a clean floor? No, that was, a, that's the, the memory. Is this nostalgia living up to what it, what it was? No. Nothing could ever live up to the nostalgia. Is it satisfying? Yeah. This no. makes it close. Pierogi's in this. No, it doesn't match. <laughs> really, it, it looked like it was gonna work. Let me just make sure. No, they're not. The flavors don't mix. That's a shame. I'm taking that out. This is the standard switch that I feel. Uh, thank you. Okay. The older I get, the more I am a crust guy. It wasn't heated well. No. It's like it's been sitting out all day. That's the that's the temperature. I've had better. Never again. Let's try the coffee. All right, so all that came out to uh, 4103. The check marks were chicken, sauce, and fries. Heavy on the fries. X's were the pierogies and this apple pie. So stay away from those. Yeah, yeah, because this is no good. This but no I'm still good. eating it. Everything here is addicting. The thing we didn't try was the ribs. Maybe another but, day. Uh, are you subscribed? I think so. Wow, what a nice guy. Anyways, <laughs> maybe hit the little bell so you know when we put out another video. If you know the answer in the contest, please leave a comment with what you think I do, weirdly, with the bread here. So. Don't do it. Cheers. No. Yep. No. See you oh, later. Oh God. No. Stop. 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 Welcome to After the Episode. I'm here with my American friend, Mr. Jason. Hi. And I'm, uh, who am I? He's Canadian. We are here to pick the contest winner from our last video. If you remember, you entered to win Timbit cereal. And uh, the answer was, of course, my favorite cereal was Canadian Corn Pops, to be specific. If you said just Corn Pops, it wasn't good enough. I don't know. They're different cereals, man. I guess. You know what they meant. Mm, I don't think so. Right. Did they know? We, we don't know. We have to be specific. It's so the specific. right answer was Canadian Corn Pops. We are going to dive deep into cereals of our countries in another episode yes. one day. Yep. Um, but today, we have actually only 30 possible winners. We screenshotted the people with the right answer, and now we're going to get Google to pick a number between 1 and 30, and that will correspond with our screenshot. Oh, 30 Final right names. here. Oh, you have to like and subscribe to have been able to uh, win this, so we'll see if they've done this. Do you want me to generate them? Yes. Between 1 and 30. Here we go. Generate. 12. Number 12. 12. Who is number 12? Brandy. Tutan. Corn Pops, Canadian version is way better. Love watching you two fans all the way from Canadian West Burnaby, BC. What's Canadian it? version's way better. It's way capitalized too. Way, way better. Way it better. is. It I is. disagree. It is. It's sweeter, it's rounder, it's 
It's, it cereal. ruins your mouth, it like destroys your mouth. That's why you gotta let them sit and get soggy. Yeah, that's just not worth All it. All right, Brandy Toutant, or Touton. Is she French? She's from BC. British Calabria. British Columbia. Ah. Yes. yes! Brandy Touton. Uh-oh, we can't tell if she's subscribed. It doesn't sit, show up on her subscribe list. She doesn't have any list, like she's choosing not to show it. I'm gonna have to give her the benefit of the doubt. We're gonna have, because she, she, said, was, she says she's, she's a fans. fan. All right, Brandy, you have won yourself two boxes of Tibbet cereal, chocolate, and birthday cake. Yeah, birthday cake. Gâteau de fête. Half of this channel is you trying to say French things. It's amazing. It's, Isn't it's, it's fantastic. It's also, I have uh, I have a present for myself that I wanted to show you. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's this. What is this? A little bell? Yeah. Show to the camera. I made this button. You made this? Yeah. So when you subscribe to a channel, you gotta hit the bell and turn on notifications so you know when we put out another video, of course. I also got you one. Brandy, I think we're gonna throw one of these in because I have another one here. We hope you enjoy this whenever it gets to you, whenever we decide to send it, which will be soon. Hopefully. If you want to see more of what we've done, we went to Montreal to try poutine. Take a look at that on our journey. Or this one here where we went to McDonald's to taste test the difference between the country's McDonald's. You'd so, be surprised. So take a look and we'll see you there.